what's up youtube and welcome back to my channel the sun is shining my allergies are so bad today but we are headed to the gym i got a little upgrade i don't know if y'all can tell but i did a little thing we're on our way for a little leg day and then we're gonna chat about how i really got into fitness all right so i just finished up at the gym way longer than i was supposed to leg day is the best day and I always end up going way longer not because like I want to like keep losing weight or anything because I get you'd be surprised how much crap I get about that a little bit about how um I lost weight the first time and then gained it, gained it back um so I have that on my channel feel free to look at that video but I did gain all the way back and then plus more and I was just living a very unhealthy lifestyle um was eating a lot of processed foods I was drinking a lot I was going through it your girl was depressed okay so yeah I was living a very unhealthy lifestyle I was just the main reason I think so unhealthy too was that I just lost all hope for myself um, I have very low self-worth at the time and I just didn't care what went into my body um, because I just didn't care about myself I just felt I have very low self-esteem <laughs> not anymore not anymore we're past that we're moving forward back in I think it was like March 2018 there's just an incident that like changed my whole perception which is good that it happened it was very it was awful <laughs> when it did happen but when it after it did um, my life changed and I had kind of needed an outlet for my anxiety and I journaled but if you've ever dealt with anxiety you know the adrenaline rush you get and the heart palpitations so even though I couldn't at the time that's when I kind of started running a lot only because I know <laughs> I was like let's go and uh nowhere to go so even though I would run like 15 seconds and then stop um I just I needed I needed to get my feelings out and then like over time obviously I went on a spiritual journey and like learned how to deal with my emotions I knew I needed a change I needed to do something I was just very sad and um, that has a lot to do with the stuff we put into our bodies the um, chemicals in processed foods and alcohol and just it's not good for us food increases our dopamine so it's almost like like a high like when you eat good food but then it's like the come down like I've never done drugs but I'm sure that's what it feels like because <laughs> you know like when you're just like oh this chocolate cake is so good and then like out of nowhere you just like oh like you're sluggish you're down you're down on your luck yeah that's basically it so yeah after I decided I needed a change it was very scary um because the first time I lost weight all I did was cardio all I did was cardio so walking into a gym trying to figure out what the freak to do what to do with the weight like my mom was into lifting but I learned some stuff from her but like still like walking in on your own is very intimidating because other people in there have been doing it for a while and you're like new and then they all like look at you no one's judging you first off no one's actually judging you but once you walk in there everyone looks because they've never seen you before 
it's okay, you're in there to make a change. So yeah, once I started, I was scared AF. But you know, it's, it's part of growth, part of a fitness journey. If you're just starting, it can be scary because you do assume that everyone's in there judging you. But everyone is in there to better themselves. Do you be honest? They don't care about you. They don't care about you at all. We are so like selfish as humans. We're just like, they're definitely looking at me and judging me. And it's just like, no, they're focused on themselves. As hard a, as hard a concept as it is to grasp, everyone focuses on themselves. If you see someone staring at you in the gym, half the time they're either like thinking of something nice to you. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Wait, look. This guy was like ripped in the center and the whole nail just <laughs> So we are going to do that. So another thing that happened to me when I started my fitness journey was I was I was gaining a different mindset as well. Uh, went through a spiritual, emotional, mental journey. And that actually caused me to just want to naturally eat better. I know sometimes it feels really hard when you want to break certain habits that you've just had your entire life. For me, I I grew up eating healthy, but I was a binge eater. So like I closet ate a lot and just had a negative relationship with food because I was so restrictive, already heavier, so I thought I couldn't enjoy life, life's, life's luxuries. So then I would restrict myself, either not eat at family events, parties, um, holidays, um, so I could just come home and eat in the closet by myself. I was convinced that everyone at the party was looking at me like the fat girl's gonna eat but I was very restrictive and then I didn't know how to eat so when I started I struggled to find balance at first and like I would eat clean majority of the week and then on the weekends treat myself but that treat myself still became like a oh let me eat pizza for dinner a whole thing of ice cream candy and then my progress like I wasn't making as much um, and now like if I want if I want a little vegan ice cream because I can't have dairy um, in the middle of the week I'm gonna go get it you know like I don't restrict myself based on that anymore I don't do the whole cheat meals thing it's hard going to the gym at first it is hard getting out of your comfort zone that way but I think the hardest part is changing your eating habits and your relationship with food but it is possible if anything I would say start there so me and Nicole just finished getting our nails done look how cute look at, that. Look at us look at us me and Nicole just finished taking some cute photos. Yes. And now we're, we're just walking around checking out Mount Dora, um, which it, it, it's so cute. I've never been here. Nicole has, but um, we're going to end up going to probably the little UK place, little UK bar. Um, just fine.
is the next day and as you can tell like um I'm exhausted. I'm feeling it. Today's been an off week just because the time change is like but um that's kind of how I got into fitness. It was a lot of I just want to change my life and I want to feel good. Um yes, I did want to lose weight, but ultimately I just wanted to not be in the slumps that I was in. Um, it was more of like a mental journey as well and I have zero regrets. I've become such a stronger, better person because of fitness. Um, it is very uncomfortable at first though, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. It can be painful, growth is scary. Growth is scary, growth is uncomfortable. But once you take those steps, like, you start to find ways to love it. And for me, yes, I do work out intensely. I do work out very hard, but I work out in a way that's not like, oh, I have to do this. I work out in a way that's like, oh my gosh, I get to do this. This is so exciting. Like every workout I finish, I get more excited for the next one. So that's ultimately the goal. It's like, if you want to make the change to don't feel like you have to go on these crash diets and don't feel like you have to strenuously work out for hours, listen to your body. But like last night too, in the vlog, like I didn't eat vegan because one, it's, it's hard sometimes going to restaurants. Um, cause sometimes they just don't accommodate to vegans. Um, but I, ate all those fries I drank beer I had a good time and that's the point is you have to find that balance too you can lose weight and still eat everything you want and still do everything you want you don't don't feel like you have to miss out on things my first fitness journey oh I can't go here or like I got a salad everywhere we went out because I thought we had to but you don't so remember it all starts with you wanting to make the change that's kind of how i got into fitness um and i hope you enjoyed my little vlog to a town i've never been before so we're trying new things in 2021 but with that being said don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll catch you all in the next one